Two softball teammates hospitalized last April after a deadly poisoning with E. coli are getting ready to go back to school this week. But there was a time, really, believe it or not, when their families wondered if these girls would ever leave the hospital. And now their families and friends are finding a way to give back to those at Dornbecker Children's Hospital. One Local 6 reporter Tim Becker has more on the girls' miracle recovery. Teammates Vanessa Brown and Bailey Marshall are close. Vanessa is so sweet. She is the sweetest person you will ever meet. Bailey's a pitcher. Vanessa, a second baseman with a rock-solid swing. Two young, happy, and healthy athletes. But that was not always the case. Well, a fifth child is very sick after drinking E. coli tainted milk. They were two of the people who drank that milk back in April. In a few moments, life turns very dramatically. And you don't expect that to happen to you or your children or your family. But it really has the impact of putting things into perspective. Perspective. You have to live life every day you know, having fun. Bailey now has it. My lowest weight was um, 91 pounds. And so does Vanessa. Do you feel like a miracle girl? Yeah, a walking miracle. She knows that she has a second chance in life. Even her doctor agrees. Yeah, she had about as severe a case as I've been, a, that I've seen in my career. The E. coli brought on hemolytic uremic syndrome, or HUS, causing acute kidney failure in both girls. I didn't move a lot. I just kind of laid in bed, and it was really, really painful. Bailey spent a month in the hospital. Very painful to watch your child um, so sick. Vanessa was there twice as long. I couldn't move. I couldn't walk. I had a tube in my throat to breathe. She lapsed into a coma for seven days. We're in the biggest valley we've ever been in, um, with Vanessa being in her condition that she was. During the recovery process, all we could do was pray and hope. Hope and prayer from people like pitching coach Sue Aran and love from the fast pitch community saw the girls through their illness. That and doctors like David Rosansky. Oh, I gotta put a chin strap on here. Who promised to try and hit one of Bailey's pitches if she ever left the hospital. It's looking a little bit dubious as to whether that'll even be possible. <laughs> he was not too bad, actually. He could swing a bat. I was impressed. <laughs> Bailey and Vanessa and their families say they owe the girls' lives to Dornbecker Children's Hospital. Every call they made was right. It was right on. <laughs> She's healed miraculously, and we just, we just give glory to God for it. And that's why they're giving back. The softball community is sponsoring a tournament later this month to help Dornbecker buy equipment that they could have used while treating Bailey and Vanessa. A couple young women who lived through more than most of us ever will. It's incredible. I, I don't think anyone would have, no one would have predicted. Nobody in the hospital staff, nobody um, on the softball teams would have predicted that they would be back. Reporting for you, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. They do a lot of good work at Dornbecker. Mm -hmm. Been there before that. Fast Pitch Cares uh, softball tournament, by the way, runs all, all day September the 15th at the Hillsboro Softball Complex, and they hope to raise about 50000 bucks. And if you want to help, you can donate to the Fast Pitch Cares account at any West Coast bank.